welcome back everyone to Mordor, where I found a forge worker apparently. And you know what we have to do with those, especially those with equestrians on their heads. It's time to take care of them as we start to look for some weapons to destroy and some anvils to dump aside. That looks like a rather a hot forge. So don't step inside of it. Won't be healthy. As if anything in Mordor is healthy, right? Alright, there we go. Okay. More now forge workers. Kill 20 of them? <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we need to get started here. Let's take care of that one first. And we also have trolls here, apparently. Because what's Mordor without a few trolls here and there? Something laggy at that location, I think. So let's be careful. Stay out of that location if it's laggy. I think whenever I'm there, I seem not to be able to. Yeah, something's laggy there. Now, my question is, is there a way to dim that sound? <sighs> I really don't need that constant boom, boom, boom. Boom and doom. Uh, actually, that sounds like something from Moria rather than Mordor. Uh, ooh. Paper. Sauron returned, and once again the forges blazed. Great stockpiles of ore. The old alloy and dark enchantments were remembered. Oh, we can't forget the old alloys and enchantments. Now, if you find every single one of those pages in an area, you are able to get a housing item. So you could go back and listen to them in their proper order, if you wish. Which may prove to be useful at some point. And... Alright. Don't push... Note one, do not push the anvil towards your toes. It might not be good for you. There you go, that's two down. And many, many, many more to go. Oh. Oh. That's a furnace up there, so let's head over to that furnace so we can get credit for it. It was a while before I knew what the furnaces looked like. So that when I see one in the distance, I could head for it and get credit for it. And I think that's what a furnace looks like. Ooh. Rusty small chest. And forge worker. Alright. I'll see if I could adjust the sound to... Could that be sound effects? I'll see if sound effects takes care of it because... That's a bit much. And yes, that is a furnace. Good. Ooh. And there's also an anvil here. Okay, let me go and adjust the sound effects and see if that helps with this... Blasted Blast. It seems to be a little bit quieter. And I got a another furnace there. And I think this is my last anvil. Alright, that's 5 of 5 done. 
Now we need to work on our forge workers, so I prefer to do that one at a time. The forge workers sometimes have another idea on the matter. Oh, well, I need to get out. How many more of these? Seven more of them, and just make two of them. So I prefer one at a time lately because this is Mordor and sometimes it's hard to keep up with the damage they're dishing out. Of course if they die together, that's not bad. A Nernhoth. An aggressive Nernhoth. Well we might as well take care of that. Because they're greenies and greenies fall down faster. And take care of the greenies first. Make it easier to take care of the rest. You know, unless of course there's some. Alright, don't lag out on me. And with that one done, how are we doing? Okay, we've got anvils done. Now, the storyline. Black Book story only required us to do the anvils, but we do have other things to do here. Actually, do the Nurnhoth count as forge workers? Apparently they do. Alright, and oh, speaking of Nurnhoth, hello. Uh, apparently this one wants to surrender, so not all of them are aggressive. Eight surrenders. I don't know why she goes around apparently aggressively going after those chests. That's all I gotta say. Say, okay, I gotta get that chest. I gotta get I don't care if there's an orc slapping me on the back. I want that chest. That's what it felt like. Laggy spot. Alright. It seems to be by location. Because anywhere, if I'm not at one of those laggy spots, I have no trouble using my skills. But if I'm standing in a laggy spot, I just can't use any of my skills at all, it looks like. Actually, this is my last forge worker. Now, I didn't need another orc to join the party. Look, did I say you could join the party? You crashed my party. You know what the penalty is for crashing parties? We don't like party crashers here. That's and yeah. Now let's see. Is there anything nice with it? Of course not. It's a out of the stole quest. I am still very poor on my light. I only have six points of light. I don't know how you have so little of it. But I'm going to need a lot more if I'm going to survive in Mordor for more than a couple of steps. Now this is, I think, the boss room. And fortunately, i got to go through two orcs in order to get there. <laughs> Wonderful. And the boss room has some nice treasure in it. If I survive. And if I'm not on top of a lag's point! Ah. If the boss isn't on top of a lag point. Now, okay. Where is location just a coincidence and was misleading? Ah, I can never be too sure. Yeah, now I seem to be back on track. Of course, it completely ruined my skill rotation. But that's another matter. Alright, I'll, I'll survive this round at least. Now, do I have any... See, I have greater resolve, a greater vigor, veteran strength, all that fun stuff on here. And yes, the boss is up. And the boss, I think, is a signature. 
and you see that there is a forge worker staying right next to him. So I gotta take care of him also. I'm pretty sure though he's yeah, he's signature. Akinbar the Cruz. There we go. And I guess I'll just have to grab these guys one by one until I get to the boss. I managed to work my way here. Now comes the tough bit, and that is surviving this battle. And I think every little bit is going to help in this matter. So all this stuff that I normally don't worry about, I will have a little bit of. I'll even throw in a little bit of hope. Yeah, I think that's all that will really be. Tome of Defense. Oh, yeah. All right, I hopefully think that that will be enough, but we'll have to find out. No, not the goblin! He respawned! Oh! Awful timing! Hey, hey, I can use the help. Thank you, please. Yeah, uh, that's one way of handling it. Does she really think it's necessary to start another fight while in the middle of this? She really goes aggressively after those chests. Oh, good grief. Okay, let's see. Agbar the Cruel, overseer of Morinar, keeps his workers hard at task despite the fact that the war is lost. What plans or orders he follows, no good can come of these machinations. Alright, good. And finish this off. Good. Grab the last of these. Okay, that's... I have destroyed many weapons. Good. And now where is the... Is that the chest there? That's a rusty small chest. Where's the boss chest? I thought that was the boss. There's a treasure cache. Treasures of Udun. Ah, what, how many, what got, how many of these do I got? Twelve, yikes. Okay, so, what, the rare isn't always there, or did I fight the wrong boss? Oh well, shows you how well I remember this place. You couldn't find a place less noisy, and less prone to na lag, and where the boss actually keeps his chest? Ah. Well done, my let us see those orcs try to forge new weapons now. We have at least made it more difficult for them to do so, if not outright impossible. While you worked to accomplish that task, I stood on the cliff's edge and beheld a rather large movement of orcs and trolls moving from so nor south to north on the floor of the valley. Perhaps you can see what they were up to finally. It will be nothing good, that much is certain, but there may be treasure in it, or knowledge worth having. Any enemies you defeat while you search will also help others among our soldiers, and will be of no waste of effort. I saw that group of orcs and trolls in the basin of the Vale, northeast of the crag right, so you want me to find out where they went, and... Kill an orc and a troll and a... Well, okay, at least orcs. It does say defeat foes, so it doesn't have to be trolls. Good. I'm not too sure I would enjoy going around fighting lots and lots of trolls in shadow areas. While I still have, speaking of treasure and all that stuff, so little of it. Really? 
Yeah, because usually when I'm in this area, I have a lot more light already than this, and I don't even have one level work. I better check my quest log, see what I missed. Right now, what I can't afford to miss are all these orcs. That seem to be stubborn. Apparently, when I was here last time, I forgot to pick up this quest from Kurtil. I was thinking I don't need it till later, but I should at least pick up the quest so that I could go and accomplish it later? We must seek Ushkbal the Overseer, then. It is he who will accomplish what we seek. Yes. He has agreed, agreed to talk to us at least, and there is hope for more. Surely he has found his post north of here, in the Great Foundry, which lies in Malthuvor. Right, alright, I'll, I'll look for him. I, I will look for him eventually. Right now, I need to take care of a few more forge workers or other enemies. And find out what's happening at that location that was seen by our friend. Uh, it can be goblins, right? It doesn't have to be orcs. Ah, uh, well. It, yeah, well, this time it's Shadow only one. Actually, these seem to be tougher than the guys at the forge. I have to keep that in mind at some point. Ah. Mordor. Keeps you on your toes. Now we arrived at the place where the orcs went and a number of dead orcs and trolls lie here. Was it infighting? Or was it this archer here that killed them all? Be careful, just in case it was that orc. Uh, that orc could do some nasty stuff to me. I could be careful about that orc. Actually, all I have to do is go back to Frogrin now, and he should be able to help me along the way. So, I know I got all the way here, and now it's time to go all the way back. Every time I come by this place, I say, Oh, there's an orc. Maybe I could take care of this easy one. Uh, no. <sighs> All right, I think they do that just to trick you. That's what they're after. They're after the players to trick them. Trixy, Trixy developers. All right, Crow Green, I've come back and it looks like the orcs and trolls all killed each other. Did you find the orcs and trolls I saw from the heights? Yep, they killed each other. Heh, <laughs> how very like orcs, finally. I do not doubt that they would pose more of a threat if they could work together, but their penchant for squabbling leaves them vulnerable to their own fellows. They are weak-minded creatures, and in the absence of Sauron, they do not know what to do. Still, we should not underestimate them, for they can pose a threat to us in great enough numbers. Ah, that reminds me. Did you see Anath while you traveled? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, I climbed up here with him, but he left shortly afterwards and has not returned. I hope he's all right. Hmm, well... I fear for Anath. Yes, did you speak to Anath in Kirith Gorgor? As we traveled to Udun, he spoke to me of his ancestors, the Thandrine and told me all their sad history. He holds in his heart the grief of their deaths, though most of them died more than a thousand years ago. He desired to go to the fortress of Durthan, which was their watchpost, and reclaim it from any orcs who possess it. I thought they were courageous words, but as I look out at the dark skies over Gorgoroth, I wonder if there was a touch of the fool in them. Anath may be in the right, but he is one man only, and Durthlin could be filled with orcs. Yes, you must find him, if he still lives, and try to dissuade him from his course. 
I told you before, I desire wealth and treasure. I do not understand those who seek anything else. The course of Anat strikes me now as foolish to the extreme. The fortress of Thandrin is to the southeast of us. All right, I'll see if I can find it. And that's where I'll meet you in the next episode of Piney in Mordor.